Big Escape with Kondo and Castro now begins in Gintawa. So I didn't talk about last week's chapter. I do apologize for that. It was a pretty good chapter, don't get me wrong. It was mainly focusing on sort of like Kondo and like Katsura's like sort of ideals and stuff like that. Like it was a good chapter, but not really talk worthy as well. And like kind of felt a little bit same with this chapter and all that. It's like it was the start of it was cool, don't get me wrong. It's like we had like both fucking like the Patriots, like we had the Shinsengumi and the Joey Patriots like gathering together. Like you had freaking, I never thought like I would ever say this, but actually Elizabeth the fucking platypus actually had a really sick like moment where like the two just like said oh, that, like so this joint operation will be our final battle. And they just point their swords up together to the sky and all that. And until the end, we'll swing our swords as in uh, Shinsengumi as well. Then how about instead of blades, we exchange sake cups instead along with our generals. I was like, oh, that's such a sick moment where you see everyone with their swords up in the air, like, uniting as one. It's like, so, there's a big fucking joint operation and all that, like, to go on to try and rescue these two guys. And it's like, it just shows, you know. And I liked how the two were sort of reflecting on the whole situation. Yeah, we've been at war for, like, for God knows how long. Like, just keep going at each other. And, you know, they managed to get, like, a little bit of, like, kind of little bonding, especially with this old guy as well that was in there. And it's like, yo, these pills will, like, make us, like, die and stuff for a while. So they won't be able to tell us and that will be our chance to break out and it's like this old man who I respect and all that it's like yay hey if you like break me out if you get me one cigarette I will fucking break you out of this so it's like and like I'll help you as well and join you so I thought that was kind of cool but they went back to comedy in this chapter I felt like with so much needed when Katsura decided to like say like let's go to this dream place together he went to throw the fucking like sleeping pill like and it actually like fell back and went into his mouth and he fucking died there already and like Kondo's like oh my fucking god I've got to improvise on this shit and it's like even trying to hit him with a fucking giant brick and shit wasn't that uh, like and the guards come in and it's like freaking like they see him like all dead on the floor and he just to make sure that they're dead and all that's like oh we're gonna fucking stab him in the fucking neck and all that and turns out these are these are Oboro's men. These aren't the fucking guards. Like, but so even when we saw him, like we only saw him for a little bit, and I'm glad that that had a huge impact in them. Because the you see, like he's got that sky, like hugely fucked up eye now. So it seems like yeah, he's only got one eye to use. It'd be sick if he had the bandages as well. Like, but it's like ah, nah, they don't have them. I thought that'd be uh, really cool. But it's like. When even so, it's like, yo, Mukuro, rescind your bloodlust and all that. We may have parted ways once, but now we're serving the same, like, heaven and all that. It's like, it's like, even Nobume is, like, say, like, I have no intention of serving for the second time. It's like, fuck that shit. Like, yeah, like, the teachings of the Iagras can never be forgotten and all that, but it's like, yeah, it's like, it's already fading away. Like, it's like, god damn, that's like some deep shit going on with those two. It's like, I, that's the thing, because Nobume, out of all the characters, like, she's, like, one of the more newer characters alongside, you know, Obolo that are, like, out of the new cast. They're, like, the ones I want to know the most and all that, and it's, like, either when Kondo, like, tried to dodge it, which was so sick, he blocks the fucking sword strike like that, just barely grazing his neck, and it's, like, yo, this isn't just some guard. This is, like, some of the Yada Garatsu, and the thing is, they've got to save fucking guards for it because he's on the floor because of the fucking, like, pill and all that, and, like, Kondo's, like, oh, i got to save him like that. It's, like, like, and luckily, like, the old fucking dude and all that managed to, like, throw, like, the fucking, like, giant rock at him. And I was like, okay, this is pretty sick and all that. Like, I really did enjoy this. I thought that was a sick fucking moment. And Kondo managed to fucking knock him out and all that from, like, the actual bar. And I thought, yo, that was sick. And cuts her out. No, it picks up the other guard's sword while he wakes up and stabs him. He's like, now, shall we be reborn as allies or as, like, enemies? And I was like, that is how you do it. That is a sick way of fucking doing it. I really, really enjoyed, like, that part of the chat. It was like, yeah, but a lot of it was, like, just generally the comedy and stuff. It was like, yeah, the Joey Hatreds and, like, like you know, the Shinsen Gumi are, like, sort of gathering. So it was a kind of cool thing to see and all that. Like, I really did enjoy that part of the chapter, but it had its issues with it. Other than that, it was kind of, like, one of the weaker chapters I've kind of talked about. Still funny in some ways and a little bit of small progression as well. We find it now that they're able to break out of the prison. But honestly, I'd give this one, like, a 6 out of 10. It was a fine chapter, but really nothing to, like, like scream home about or something like that but yeah it made me laugh a little bit and all that but let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about this chapter but that's all for me so thank you very much for watching as always and i'll see you guys next time